Hello everyone! A few years ago I made this LED Christmas tree out of wire APA106 LEDs and an Arduino Mini. I soldered four wires as a tree trunk on a printed circuit board. Then I soldered more wires as branches and finally rings to the trunk. The LEDs were then soldered to the rings. The whole thing works in such a way that the structure of the tree provides the power at the same time. Since I liked the idea so much, a friend and I sat down and developed a version out of printed circuit boards. The final version got some snowflakes as decoration and a button to change the effects and settings. But more about that later. You can buy the whole thing as a kit in my Tindy store, the link is in the video description. But enough talking, let's assemble a Christmas tree. The Christmas tree consists of a baseboard, two rings, two branches, a tree trunk, four plastic spacers, two resistors, an ESP8266 with accessories, 14 LEDs and a push button. First, the branches have to be soldered to the rings. To do this, there are small arrows on the back of the ring and the branch where they have to be aligned. Then the two boards are soldered together at the soldering points. Due to the height difference, a little more solder may be used here. Then the whole thing is repeated for the second ring and branch. Next, it's the turn of the light emitting diodes. These are inserted into the rings at the marked positions. Make sure that the two long legs are on the left and the two short ones on the right. Afterwards, the whole thing is turned around and the LEDs can be soldered. Since the legs of the LEDs are very long, they will be broken off. You can also cut them off. This is repeated for the other ring. Now we come to the baseboard. Here the 220 ohm, the 10 kilo ohm resistor and the push button are put into the appropriate places and then soldered on the back side. Again, the legs are broken off. After that, it's the turn of the ESP8266, whose pin headers are inserted with the short side on the bottom side of the board. To make sure that the ESP will fit later, it is also plugged in. The pin headers are then soldered from the top side. After that, the ESP is soldered. Make sure that the micro USB connector does not touch the legs of the resistors. So make sure to lift the ESP a bit when soldering so that there is enough space. Next, insert spacers into the baseboard from below. Now the tree trunk can be soldered. Insert the tree trunk into the slot in the baseboard. Make sure that the soldering points are next to each other and that it is straight. After that, the big ring with the LEDs facing up is put into the lower slot. Again, make sure the ring is straight when soldering. The same is repeated with the small ring. This one goes into the upper slot. This brings us to the last LED, which goes into the top of the trunk. Again, the two long legs must be on the left. Don't put the LED all the way in, because it has to be bent upwards. After that, this can also be soldered in place. The tree is almost finished. Now you only have to install the software. You can find detailed instructions on the GitHub page. The link is of course in the description. With the button, you can change the effects and settings. In the initial state, the tree is off. With a click, you can change the effect and turn it on. With a double click, you can change the speed. If you hold the button for at least one second, you enter the configuration mode. If you let go when only the tip is lit, you can change the brightness with clicks and double clicks. If you hold the button down again for a second, you exit the menu. If you let go when the upper ring is lit, you can choose the color scheme. When the lower ring is lit and you release it, you activate the wireless mode. You can currently update the software with this, but more features are planned. If you liked the video, please like and share it. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and see you again next year.
Bye.